Hello, this is Builder Elephant, and welcome back to another review of the Super Mario Series 2 Character Packs. Today, we will be taking a closer look at character number 5, Parachute Goomba. Parachute Goombas are the English translation from the Japanese game. The larger world knows them better as Para Goombas. These are normal Goomba characters that use parachutes to slowly fall from the sky and then attack Mario and his friends. They first appeared in the 1990 Super Mario World video game. As the most common enemy in the Super Mario video game franchise, Goombas have come in a lot of different Super Mario sets. To make this character original and worthy of getting its own blind bag, LEGO gave it a parachute. Some minor changes have been made to the build for the parachute to be attached. Usually, the scanner tile is put on top of the Goomba to replicate players jumping on the Goomba's head to defeat him. However, the scanner tile was moved to the back of the character so the parachute could be placed on the figure. The top of the head is now a 2x2 jumper plate. The parachute uses a 1x1 round plate with open stud to stick a white plant flower stem into it. This creates the strings to the parachute. An inverted cone with a 1L bar was then placed inside the flower stem. We then used one more 1x1 round plate with open stud to attach the printed 3x3 inverted radar dish. The simple blue and white stripe pattern on this radar dish does a great job matching the game design. The face is a new expression and only found on this character. The open mouth and eyes looking to the right is easily identified as unique. Sometimes these new printed faces only have a slight change that you have to study for a long time to notice. The display stand was built with a purple 4x4 rounded corner plate. This color represents poisonous swamps in the game, so I'm not exactly sure why they went with this color for the parachute Goomba to land on. To make it appear like the character is slowly falling from the sky, two translucent clear panel pieces were placed on the back corner. The character was then put on top of these 1x2x2 panels. To add some color, two coral flowers and a green stem with three leaves are growing out of the swamp. While the colors look nice, the actual build is rather boring and doesn't fit the character being displayed. The Parachute Goomba is a fun character to put on display. The Goomba is a staple enemy for the Mario franchise, and the character packs are a good opportunity to give Nintendo fans some of these variations. I was disappointed in the plain design and unconnected setting for the display stand. Luckily, LEGO is all about building from your own imagination, so if you do get this set, I recommend creating your own display stand for the character. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.